Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to password protect your WordPress admin area. And so I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. One of the first ways, um, and we'll be using uh, kickstartcomtest.com and as you can see I'm already logged into uh, the WordPress admin area and so I'm gonna, the first way I'm going to show you is how to actually password protect um, your um, website using you know, your control panel. And I use InMotion Hosting for Kickstart, um, kickstartcomtest.com. And within there, what you're, what you're going to want to do uh, is to go and scroll down to the security area and then select password protect. And then just make sure it says show hidden files. You can go to go, select the folder that you want to password protect. You would basically then check that you want to protect this and then give it a name, WordPress login. And it can be something uh, less telling than WordPress login. So now that we've saved that, we're going to add a user and we're going to call this user John Doe KSC. Um, I'm going to give this, um, give it a password here. We're going to add the user and when you add the user, it shows you the user and then it shows you the password. Copy that password for keep sake here and you can go back to go up one level and so now you can see now the wp-admin is um, already password protected so if we go to wp admin now you can see that even though I'm logged in it's asking me for a password so now that makes it hard or rather what makes it hard is that um, now users or hackers will have to they'll be met um, with this password protected. So before they can even begin to try to log in, even if they're using an API, they will be forced to log in here, um, which, like I said, we use John Doe KSC. There's the password. And once you log in, then you're in, and you can actually uh, go about your business. And so what this does is keeps people from... Um, just pinging your site with unnecessary login attempts um, in an attempt to try to get your password. So that's the first way of using uh, just your own hosting their directory level password protection uh, feature. And most that offer cPanel hosting, InMotion hosting, HostGator, GoDaddy, Bluehost, the like, they, they all offer uh, password protect uh, directory services. So um, so that's that. So what we'll do now is I'll show you, so I'll show you now how to go back in. If you password protect, go back in. And now what we want to do is uncheck this box and click save. And so now it is unchecked. And the reason that we know that it's not, it's no longer protected now is if we go up one level, you no longer see the padlock symbol next to the wp-admin. So that's how you remove uh, the password protection from a directory. So now that that's uh, done, then the next thing that I want to show you is you can actually do this a second way if you're using a plugin. And so one of the plugins that I've used for security is called iThemes or Better WP Security, I believe it's formerly known as. And if you go to the settings, um, and before I actually go forward and show you the settings, if you don't have this plugin, essentially go to plugins, add new, search for iTheme security, enable it, and then you will see the security over here in the left hand side. Come there, click either security or settings with, with beneath set, uh, beneath click settings beneath security. There we go. Had a hard time getting it out there. Um, and you'll be shown this page. Once you get here, click advanced, and then it gives you this feature called hide the back end. 
You configure the settings by enabling, hiding the back end, and then you can give this anything you want. I recommend that you don't give it WP um, anything. I would just, uh, you know, you may try to do something like, um, you know, initials for your company. Um, you know, it may be something like that. I would try to stay away from using like login, um, admin, and you can see that here uh, that it tells you because th those are typically slugs that are um, used by, by default in WordPress. So, um, you know, I, me personally, I would do something, uh, you know, like um, KSC dash manager. Um, because that's essentially what you're doing is just managing the back end. And then uh, you can change the registration slug as well. Um, and then once you do that, then instead of going to your um, domain.com slash you know, wp-login.php or wp-admin, then what happens is you will go to ksc-manager. So, for instance, um, we'll go ahead and we'll save this. Okay, and so and so there you there you can actually see that the back end feature is now active. Your new login URL is this URL here, and so we will save that, <coughs> and then we will uh, log out. And then basically, um, uh, let's see here if I can remember. Okay, so we're back in, all right. I'm gonna log out, make sure that we're logged out. And so there, you see now we're logged out and there's the, there's our link. And so even if you were to, you know, try to go to, let's say, wp-admin, then it takes you to page.found. And so now that means that People would have to know exactly what your URL is to log in. And so once again, you're able to um, protect your admin from people uh, spamming you with, you know, registries um, and the like. So not only log in, but you can also change your, you know, your registry. Uh, setting in terms of the URL that's used there. And so that's one of the good things which you can change that slug to be whatever you want. I personally wouldn't use WP. I wouldn't even use register. Um, I'd use, you know, something else, probably like sign up um, or join um, some other descriptive word, much like you did here with the KSC dash manager. So that's it. Um, in a nutshell, let me know if you have any questions. At the same time, feel free to um, drop me questions or comments below the video. And last but not least, feel free to subscribe as well as come and visit uh, kickstartcommerce.com for more search marketing and domain investing ideas for your business. Uh, that's it, and I look forward to seeing you around for the next tutorial.